Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Word for free. So the only thing which you will require to use Microsoft Word for free is an internet connection. So you need to have an active internet connection. So once you have an internet connection, let me show you how you can use it. So I'm going to open uh, this window on my Windows operating system. And here I have three different documents. One is a Word document other is an Excel document and the third one is the PowerPoint presentation document. So dot doc dot XLSX and dot PPTX. Now when I open this uh, document in my Windows operating system and uh, remember I don't have the official version of Microsoft Office on my Windows operating system. So when I open this uh, document on uh, my Windows operating system, so you can see I can view this Word document, but it's protected view. So I cannot edit it. So if I just click on edit, it's going to uh, just tell me remove protection where it says me to sign in with my Microsoft account. So I already have this Microsoft account, so I can uh, just uh, click on sign in. So now I am logged in with my Microsoft account and even then I cannot uh, edit this uh, file, right? So on Windows, if you don't have the official version of Office, then you cannot edit this document. And you will see on the top, it says unlicensed product. And you can see, it says use free at office.com and that's what we are going to do. So we are going to use office.com to edit or just use Microsoft Office uh, products on this office.com website. So you can click on this uh, button or you can directly go to the office.com website. So the website is really simple office.com or even you can go to the microsoft.com website and you just need to sign in with your Microsoft account. So if you have already created your Microsoft account, you just need to just sign in with your Microsoft account. And once you are signed in with your Microsoft account, you will be able to see uh, these options here. So on this office.com website, you can use all these products which you can see here. You can also see uh, this uh, option which says all apps. When you click on this option, you will be able to see the list of all the products which you can use on this website. So I have this calendar, Excel, forms for surveys, OneDrive to store and access all your data, one note to take notes and uh, other products you can see. So let's say I just want to use Microsoft Word. So I can uh, just click on uh, this option which says Word. And once you click on this Word option, you will be able to see this button here, Upload and Open. Also, if you want to open any of uh, these apps, you can just click on this uh, left hand top corner and then just click on the option you want. So for now, I want the Microsoft Word. So as I said, you can just click on this upload and open button. So I'm going to just click on this upload and open button. And then I'm going to just copy the path where my uh, Word document is there. And you can see it's going to recognize this Word document. So I'm going to just select this and then click on open, which is going to just upload this document on my account on office.com and now I can see the same document here and here I can edit this document. So as I can see here, I have opened this uh, document on my Windows operating system, but it wasn't allowing me to edit. But on uh, this office.com website, when I open this document, I can uh, just type anything you can see. So I can type anything and edit this document. I can uh, even uh, change uh, these uh, diagrams from here. So keep in mind, you can do most of the things on this office.com Word document, but some of the features are not available and those features are advanced features. So if you are just looking for just editing your Word document or Excel document, or you just want to create a PowerPoint presentation, most of the features are available on uh, this uh, 
app which you can see on this office.com website. So for the normal uh, office user, this uh, app on the office.com is enough to uh, just work day to day uh, work with office.com products. So now you have seen that I can edit this uh, document. Also one advantage of using this document on the office.com is you can share this document with uh, your team if you are working in the team and then they can review your uh, document. So you can see this review tab here and then you can write the comments or check accessibility and if you want to share this document with the other team members then you can just click on this share options and then you can choose uh, uh, to whom you want to provide this access so anyone with the link can add it also you can set the expiration date and the uh, password so i don't want to provide this expiration date or uh, the password i will just apply this and then uh, here i can enter the email id of the person to whom i want to send this document also you can just click on this copy link option so you can uh, just press this button and let me open this document on the other browser so i have this microsoft edge browser and i will just uh, paste this link which i have copied from the office.com share button and now i can see this document on my other browser so when you give this link to any uh, of your team members or your friends he will be able to see this document even he will be able to uh, just edit this document so i have just pressed the edit option and now uh, the team member to whom i have sent this document can edit this so now let me open this uh, document side by side so this is on my other browser and uh, this is on my chrome browser and when i edit this document here so see what happens so you will see that when i just edit this document the document on the left hand side uh, edits automatically in the real time so your friend can edit this uh, file and you will see the edits in the real time on your computer so as i said you can give this document for the review to your teammates or the friends and let's say he wants to just add some comment so let's say he just want to add this comment somewhere so he can just click on this uh, new comment option and then uh, just comment it so i just wrote hello world and then press enter and in real time you will be able to see uh, this uh, message and when you click on this option you will be able to see that comment so it's really handy if you want to uh, work in the team with the same document then uh, uh, you can use this office.com so once you have edited this document if you want to uh, just download this document on your windows operating system the process is really easy you can just uh, click on uh, file option here and then click on save as and then uh, you can download this file as the word copy word document copy or the pdf file or the odt file okay so let's download this uh, copy i'm going to just click on uh, download copy and once you click on the download copy and once you click on the download copy you will uh, be able to see your document is ready so just click on this uh, uh, option and then this word file will be downloaded on your local windows operating system so, so let me just uh, create a new folder here and i'm going to just uh, paste the document which i have downloaded and when i open this uh, word document i will be able to see the comments here and also whatever i have edited i can see uh, all the edits here so now you have the offline version of this uh, word document which you can uh, work with also it's really easy to download this uh, file as a pdf file so sometimes you want to download it as a pdf file so you can just click on download as pdf and you have the pdf using the word file now let me show you the second way of using all these uh, words documents and the ppt and the excel and other apps using your windows 10 operating system without the browser so i'm going to just minimize everything here so let me just minimize this and what you need to do on your windows operating system you just need to search for office here 
and there is an app called office which is an official app from Microsoft so when I click on this app I will be able to see this kind of window and this will uh, ask me to sign in with my uh, Microsoft account so I already have this Microsoft account so I'm going to just uh, sign in with my Microsoft account and once I do that I will be able to uh, see uh, this option so I don't want to go premium right now so I will just uh, skip this I will just close this option and then it says do you want to pin office to the taskbar I don't want to do that so I will just click on no but you can do this and uh, you can just uh, click on this icon from the taskbar also and it will open this office app so as I mentioned you just need to have an uh, active in internet connection which uh, nowadays everybody have so you can uh, see uh, the list of all the documents here which I have created and uploaded online so uh, as you remember I have uploaded this document and uh, this document and this document online on the office.com website so this office app is going to sync with my office.com or the Microsoft account and it's going to show me all the documents which I will be able to see on my office.com website so let me just go to the office website and I can see all these documents so I can see four documents here but on the office app on Windows operating system I will be able to see more uh, files here so on the office app it's going to show me all the online documents and it's going to show me all the local documents also which I have on my Windows operating system so here I can see more uh, documents on my office app and using this office app is also really easy you can just upload your files from here or you can create the new uh, excel file word file powerpoint file or you can just uh, use outlook or onedrive and other apps which are listed here and you can just uh, use them freely okay so for this you don't need to pay this is how you can use your office app officially and for free